hello class welcome to lesson number two where we are going to take a quick tour of Moodle and develop our course outline today is june 18 or 2019 uh, june is moving we thank god for keeping us so we're digging into the heart of the matter for our training and that's uh Moodle. uh let's do with a quick pronunciation of that word. Now, it's as if you are pronouncing Moodle and not Modo, because I, ask, uh, I can hear some people uh, call it Modo. It is not Mojo, but Modo. So before we take a dive into what we have for today, what did we really learn in the last lesson? So who is going to give us an answer? We have an updated class list here arranged in alphabetical order. Is it Adebanjo additional? Uh, try to locate your name here if you want to answer the question. That is, what did we learn last class? Let me ask uh, Dr. Ayodiji Tela, our rector. Rector, what did we learn in the last class? Yeah, I'm sure our rector knows that, that uh, we had introduction to open and distance learning. So for today, what are we going to do? We have the following objectives. We are going to be defining learning management system, LMS. And then we'll differentiate between learning management system, content management system, CMS. Is that CMS, uh, Bariga? Uh, sorry, that's by way of a joke for the uh, participants from Nigeria and then LCMS, that's merging these two together. And then we'll describe the main features in the layout of Moodle. And the last of our objectives for today, we are going to develop a course outline for the course which you will be delivering online. Now, let's, let's get back to business. Now, talking about getting back to business, is the dad who told his son I want you to marry a girl of my choice. And the boy said, no. And the dad said, the girl is Bill Gates' daughter. Oh, the boy said, okay, then okay, let's go for it. Then God, the, the father went, went to Bill Gates and he said, I want your daughter to marry my son. Bill Gates said, what the, what the heck is that? He said, no. Then dad said, Bill, my son is the CEO of the World Bank. Ah, Bill Gates said, okay, okay, let's go. Then the father went to the president of the World Bank and told him, Father, appoint my son as CEO. Uh, the president of the World Bank said, no. The father said, he's the son-in-law uh, of the Gates. The president said, okay, then that is back to business. Now, what is learning management system? That's our objective, number one, LMS. LMS, by the way, is a software. It's an application software that we use for administration, documentation, tracking, reporting, and delivery of educational courses. You have a role for this course, dear participants, to be able to deliver courses online. So the software that you use, that you need for this, is an application software that can let you do it. And that is why it is called the learning Management system LMS. The LMS, many of them are free and open source. Free, that means you don't need to pay for them. You know, there are some developers who have very large heart. They spend billions of dollars to develop a software and make this software available for you and I and others to use for free. And it's open source because you can use it, you can modify it. There's no source code that you'll be looking for. It's open source, so you can customize it to your need. And on your behalf, I'd like to thank all those people that have provided us with such software. My man, let my man system. I give you a few of these uh, software. You have Modo, which is the one we're going to use for this course. You have a tutor. Elia Demi, former LMS, Dokios, Elias, Opinio, Open, Ola. These are some of the open source learning management 
systems. So, what is the difference between learning management system, content management system, and learning content management system? That's the merger of these two, the hybrid. So, let's see. Now, let's look at elements. It's used to, but by the way, let's even start from here. The engineers and the learners, you know, we talk about learning management system. So those who are going to be using it are the learners. For instance, you are learners for this course. I am just a facilitator. So we're going to be using the learning management system and you are going to be the end user. For the content management system is the content author or manager that is the user. For the mixture of LCMS, for the LCMS is the content author and manager also. Now let's look at what LMS is used for. You notice that we defined it. It is to plan, implement, and assess learning processes. But this one, same as content management, content, just the content management system, not the learning management, content management system to create and manage digital content. So what are the key features? This one is to create and deliver learning content. Storage for learning, content creation, content delivery, learners and events management, progress and results tracking. You are going to see all of this. All of this. This course, no theory there. You are going to see these things practically. And you are going to learn. And you are going to be, you are going to move from being a novice all the track to being an expert over time. Not be overnight, but over time. Now, the content management system for data repositories and centralized storage, retrieval, revision, and distribution of small pieces of information, authoring, and all of that. So that is CMS. For LCMS, it is learning content creation and storage. So moving on, let's look at the features for LMS and LCMS. As we said, the primary user for LMS is who? Learner. Yeah, I can hear that uh, uh, Femi Ade Mario Gerola has agreed with me. Uh, later. For LCMS, the trainers from Magic, as we saw on the previous slide. Now, look at all that this one can do. You can track and report content delivery, learner profiles, schedule events. You can have all of these things. That LCMS will not do that. Uh, training progress mapping to map the progress of your learners. This one will do that. This one will not. Content creation, yes, of cases at this, yes. Organizes content, yes. Uh, there's a third uh, slide you may wish to look at at your convenience, CMS, LCMS, and LMS. Wow, we're moving. A choice of LMS. You know, we, we showed you 10 LMS the other time. A choice is model. Why is a choice model? A choice is model because it is the, in my view, you know, the most flexible, the most, uh, the one that you are not going to sweat uh, all over to get to understand and use. And uh, it is the platform that the National Universities Commission, the regulatory agency for Nigeria, has recommended for people delivering online learning in Nigeria. So Moodle. Not be now one, two, three, four, five, six words. Modular the M. Object the O. Oriented the O. Dynamic the D. Learning the L. And environment the E. Moodle. Easy. Now let's listen to the clip of Moodle. Moodle is a free online learning management system that enables educators to create their own private website filled with dynamic courses that extend learning anytime, anywhere. You can install Moodle for free on your own server or ask a Moodle partner to help set up a site for you. Once it's running, you can easily create online courses using our hundreds of built-in features. Upload your content, add gradable assignments and quizzes, and then add collaborative activities like forums, wikis or glossaries to make online learning scalable, effective and fun. Because our code is truly open source, you can further tailor your site with a huge variety of community-produced plugins or create your own new features. 
the Moodle platform is robust with over 10 years of development behind it. And today, more than 70,000 universities, corporations and schools in over 200 countries and 100 languages trust Moodle for their online learning needs. Even Buckingham Palace uses Moodle. Moodle. Powerful free tools to help you educate the world. Learn more at Moodle.com. Yes, yes, yes. You can go to Moodle.com to learn more. For today, let's look at the main features in the layout of but before we continue, I'd like you to note I don't want you to be intimidated at all by some of the terminologies. Uh, I tell you, you cannot learn them all in one short course. So over time, you'll be building your vocabulary, you'll be part of the module community, and you'll be learning more and more and more. So let's look at the way module is. Now, this uh, version of module that we are using for this course. Uh, as you can see, you know, we have a course is bilocular.com, that's it. And setting up an e-learning platform is our course. So if you have, uh, if you've logged in today, for instance, you're going to see uh, this, this, all these rectangular things. What are they? They are called blocks. This is a block. 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 What is this? Block. This is what you call. What is this? Block. Wonderful. So as you can see, we have the blocks in three columns from this uh, particular uh, template. We have this column on the left. We have this column on the right. And we have this column in the center. So. You can see that this column is the navigation. Excuse me. This, uh, I, I, I can see that uh, Ambassador uh, Labiro corrected me. It's a block. This block is a navigation block. Uh, Professor Ayola Jasa, Vice Chancellor, what is this block? This block, yes, sir. Yeah, you got it. Upcoming events block. This is people block. This is activity block. But I want you to focus more on two blocks the navigation block and the administration block uh, by the way you can move these ones you know you can relocate these blocks and you can actually can add more blocks now let me get you live to the site yeah so this is our live site as you can see uh, we have the navigation block uh, administration block and as a you know you can also add some more blocks to, to, to it. Um, if you go to the right here, search for rooms, latest announcement, upcoming event, people who will be participants, and reset activity there. Uh, if you look at the central block here, we have the general one where uh, we're putting some announcements, and this is week one. Uh, we have the timetable, we have the video of the lesson, discussion forum. Uh, by the way, you could, could you get this course or your discussion forum uh, the next uh, couple of hours. Uh, this is the test. You, you notice that I've extended the test time because of the challenge that some of you had. Now, this is week two. Uh, and uh, we have uh, the timetable. Uh, quick tour of Moodle and development of course outline. I think that's what this one should be. Uh, don't do what I want to do right now because you are not you are not there yet. We're going to yeah. I'm going to let you go there. Uh, I want to change this to quick tour of Moodle and development of course outline. Uh, by the time you see this, uh, this you see this, uh, uh, you see this, you are going to find that it has changed. Uh, by the way, as I mentioned, don't carry out this operation yet. It is not, uh, you are not there yet. We're going to let you uh, quick tour of uh, and development of course of my Yeah. So please don't carry out this operation yet. You are still going to do everything, uh, but only when you are authorized to do so. Yeah, so you can see this one has changed. Quick tour of module and development of course outline. So that's the lesson for uh, today. We already have the timetable. 
you click on this you see a timetable for the week uh, so there's a timetable uh, I apologize I said this will be all out by 9 p.m. it's getting um, it's actually 9 if you look at my time here so actually like 10, 10 p.m. and I'm still developing <laughs> developing this lesson so but we get it today uh, Monday uh, actually it was supposed to be out tomorrow yeah that's fine video so that's our that, that's the course you can navigate through this this timetable module quick lesson e-learning open distance learning dashboard so you can go you can just navigate along here if you click on this it will give you this and then you get click on this it will give you set up an e-learning platform and so you back to here you see course administration uh turn it in on and off don't go to here yet don't please don't go to here yet uh the users we can see our users just users that are enrolled in the course uh let's see yeah, these are the people that are enrolled uh enrolled users uh, uh reports uh you have logs logs of those that are uh, have come in that have used the system over uh, let's see what log uh, get this logs let's see this so uh, yeah I'm the one using it now so it tells me um, I'm here 17th yes yes that's it and anybody that has uh, allowed me Larry allow you logged in 930 20, 938 today uh, to take a quiz ah I see uh Damilaria now quiz attempt viewed okay quiz attempt viewed uh at this end me i can see what let's see what you've done okay attempt quiz now so that's just the layout of uh, uh model don't attempt to modify anything yet just see make you just look look just look because in a little while you will be on top of this thing in terms of its use. So let's get back to the last part of this lesson. Uh, that's developing your course outline. Uh, it is the easiest part, I think. You know, why do I think so? Now, if you look at uh, participants in this training, you find that all of us here are uh, first degree holders at least. All of us from great universities, University of uh, Impact, and the University of Adoikiti here, uh, Lagos State University, Agiri, uh, Akinko, to Bimpe, Akintayo, Bayo, Alao, Atebi, Anyolaja, Ikpa, Jisurobo, Keiji, Kola Lusanya, Labiron, La Sisi. All, all of us here, all of us here have gone through courses and your lecturers will have given you a course of that. So it's quite easy. For instance, I'm sure that when you started a course out of the maybe uh, 50 or more courses that you took at the university, they gave you a course outline. The lecturer gave you a course outline. Now let's take this one, ESC 456, Introduction to Tests and Measurement uh, by Peter Okibukola as a course lecturer. So it has an introduction about this, it has the objectives, uh, it has uh, the units, the, the different topics that we'll cover in each week. And for each topic, the details of the of the topic, that's the unit one is uh, basic issues in tests and measurement in education. And the content is what, what I'm going to teach, like the object, why do we measure in education? Can I find different differences between this and this? Then planning unit two, planning classroom tests. So stages in planning classroom tests, test blueprints, and all that strength. So it goes on like that. That's what you get when you are you are enrolled for a course in your university. I'm sure you all got course outlines from your lecturers, and then they will tell you, oh, in this course, so attendance is X percent. You are going to do a project. Exam is this. Uh, the project of content assessment will be 25 percent, and then you give information about uh, the assignments and the textbook that the students will be using. So this one, very easy, now course outline with this. That is what we want you to develop. So in developing the course outline, let me even actually go to uh, the our 
as uh, the, the wonderful staff that are going, going to be developing courses in the Virtual Institute for Culture in the Digital Environment. Yeah, so we can see them now. Uh, I've taken the course of promoting human rights, artistic freedom, and freedom of cultural expression in the digital environment. That, that is, that's my course. So I'm going to develop a course outline on this based on the format that we saw earlier. I will get back to it in a minute. Look at Professor Tukola Lusanya, Strategies for Adapting National Policies. That's the course that you develop course outline on it. Digital mapping, I'm the one to develop the course outline on this. Ibukun, Adapting International Instruments for this. That's, this is the course. I develop the course outline on it. Uh, Ambassador Labiron, Promoting Cultural Goods and Services. And it goes on and on and on and on like that. So, uh, director, concept and applications of digital technology in the training of cultural artists. That is the one we are going to be developing the uh, course uh, uh, outline on. Uh, Mommy, uh, Madam Wachuko, promoting digitization, uh, linguistic diversity. So, these are the courses that we're producing the course outlines on. So let me get back again to how what you are going to develop. So you have the course outline for you then put the name of that or the title of the of the thing. Uh, you are the lecturer. Have a short introduction to it. Maybe the introduction can be can be a modified, you know, part of this one. That, that could be the introduction modified in a way. This modified in a way that the discourse, the digital environment, and all that. I think this is quite good as introduction. And then you provide your objectives for the course. Uh, <laughs> the trick here again is that if you have listed the topics you are going to be teaching, you are going to be facilitating in that course, then if there are several of them, then it's not easy for you to be doing the objectives. So you can be targeting each of these object, one objective for this one, one objective for this, one objective for this. Uh, so on. Uh, so if you look at this, I said identify strengths and weaknesses. Uh, if I look at the first one, look at the importance of measurement and testing in education. You can see why do we measure? So it targets this one. This other one targets the next one. This one targets the next one. So in writing the objectives, there are several important rules. First, you must ensure that these first words are not like to, that you should understand. Avoid using the word understand or teach or what else do you put, you put it to yeah, understand to where. So you go to use what, what is known as action verb, recognize, differentiate, plan, identify, describe, construct, predict, uh, explain, and all of that. That's what you are going to be putting here. So your objectives are here, and then you have the Unit one, unit two, and the contents. So this is unit one, and this is the content for unit one. This unit two, and this is the content for unit two. And then you will come to here, your course assessment, assignments, and course textbook is as easy as that. By the way, I'm going to email this as a, uh, as an attachment to. Uh, some mail I'll be sending to you uh, very soon. So that's all there is in uh, developing the course outline. So what do we learn for this lesson? Uh, let me summarize the lesson. Uh, can you help us there? Uh, Mommy, what did we learn? Uh, if you can't get it, but call by your, you know, to help you. Uh, I can see you to us say that we defined learning management system. How did we define it? Mm, just wait for it. Test the come. We have test on Friday. So you all better be ready. We differentiated between LMS and content management system and between content management system and LMS and NCMS. We also described the main features in the layout, layout of model. And the last thing we did was to identify the steps in the development of course outline. So the lesson is coming to an, has come to an end. And we need to relax. So in the next lesson, we'll begin the very interesting, is this could be really practical, of setting up our course or the middle, model, excuse me, model platform. So time to relax. Uh, uh, let's see. The father said to his son, hey, 
Why don't you go and study? And so I said, what for? What am I going to study for? Baba said, you get good marks. Uh -huh. So then, if I get good marks, uncle, the father said, you get good salary. Uh -huh. The Peking said, uh, then, if I get good salary. The father said, you get a new car, you get a big house. The son said, so what? The father said, you will relax. The son said, what do you think I'm doing right now? Relaxing. So why go to all these pains? Ladies and gentlemen, time to say bye-bye. From me, Peter Kebukola, until the next class.